Welcome to Koh Tao, Thailand. A mecca for scuba divers, this island boasts more than 50 dive shops, bringing hundreds of divers out into the water every day. But in this underwater paradise, there are fish divers are wary of. So what aquatic terror induces the most fear? It's the trigger fish. This rather odd looking fish has the reputation of possessing a nasty, aggressive behavior. In this documentary, we are going to get a closer look at trigger fishes and see if their infamy is deserved. Trigger fishes are some of the most evolutionarily advanced fishes. They are members of the same order that includes porcupine fishes and file fishes. The most common and easily recognized trigger fish in Koh Tao is the Titan trigger fish, which is also known as the giant trigger fish or mustache triggerfish. But there are other species that call Koh Tao home, including the yellow margin triggerfish and the elusive pink tail triggerfish. The name triggerfish comes from their dorsal fin. The first spine can be locked into an upright position and can only be unlocked by depressing the second so-called trigger spine. Hence the name trigger fish. Along with this trigger, all trigger fishes have the same basic body plan. The flattened rugby ball shape, the large head, the high set eye, and the small but powerful mouth. The mouth contains very strong jaws and long chisel-like teeth, which is one reason these fish are feared by divers. The mouth is designed for crushing coral, echinoderms, and sponges. Triggerfish are very helpful as they can break the larger corals, leaving scraps for the not so patiently waiting smaller fish. Sometimes, the bigger triggerfish is successful in scaring away smaller fish. Other times, it's just not worth the effort. The threatening spines of these urchins are no deterrent to trigger fish. Here, one has broken into an urchin and is enjoying the insides. Or at least trying to enjoy. Another potential snack are Christmas tree worms. These worms bore into coral and wait for food. But when they sense a threat, they quickly retreat. That doesn't seem to dissuade this trigger fish, which is trying to suck the worms out of the coral. By ejecting water from its mouth, a triggerfish can blow sand away to look for food.
but this is also a way that they will form a nest. This lunar landscape is an infamous nesting ground for triggerfish. Welcome to the Trigger Pit. The triggerfish that nest here are the yellow margin triggerfish. These triggers are usually more timid than their larger relatives, the Titan. But during nesting, even these triggerfish are notoriously aggressive, as the females drive off fish and divers to protect her eggs and young. Fortunately, these yellow margin triggers are not nesting at this time. Most of them are being cleaned by the cleaner wrasse. Although the dorsal fin is up, it is not as a warning, but for it to be cleaned as well. However, it seems that these triggers are more upset with the cleaner fish than any of the divers around. So what about their reputation as mean and aggressive? The first response a triggerfish has to any diver coming too close is for the fish to swim away. This sideways swimming technique allows them a better view of the threat they are avoiding. If a diver gets too close to a triggerfish, it will let him know. This technique is also used by their filefish relatives. If these warnings fail, the triggerfish may resort to rushing the potential threat. This rather protective yellow margin rushes towards the diver, but quickly retreats without actually biting. Or take this Titan triggerfish, who felt the camera was too close for comfort. Triggerfishes are one of the most intriguing animals to see at Koh Tao. They are capable of harming people, but only as a last resort to defend themselves and their young. The sensational fear of these fishes is unfounded and unwarranted. However, just like any wild animal, 
they need to be treated with respect. <laughs>